Hello YouTube, and welcome to an updated mod spotlight on TSONCraft. We're on version 3.5 of TSONCraft, and the reason I'm making this updated spotlight is because ever since I released the 3.0 branch of TSONCraft, the old one's been very outdated, um, because the 3.0 branch was the rewrite of the entire mod. As a result, we're here doing this spotlight. So. Let's begin. So this block here is a cave chest. Uh, it's the purple tier. I'll talk more about that later. But um, currently, what we've got in here is a cave guide. This is the first thing you'll want to make if you're playing in survival mode, um, regardless of whether you've got the hard mode turned on or not. So the cave guide does basically is you hold it in your hand, and you right click, and it opens up a little GUI telling you about stuff. And all you have to do is click on one of these things to find out what it's about. So, and then it will give you a little menu saying that's what it is. You click on back down there, and it'll take you back to here. That's how the cave guide works, and it explains all of these things to you and how to use them, essentially. So, starting off in TSR Craft, well, it really depends because, for example, currently I have the hard mode turned off. So, what hard mode does is it makes it so that the crafting table cannot be made like this with the planks like that. It can only be made like this or like this, which requires a wood catalyst, which is a block added by TSOCraft, and a book of knowledge, either cave or the master tier of that, and make four crafting tables. So with hard mode turned on, this is the only recipe you will be able to do without a crafting table, because this one requires a crafting table and this one's disabled. And there's also this one. I'm not sure why it's added two recipes with the book a different way around. But, you know, so a wood catalyst is pretty simple to make. You just take four logs, makes one wood catalyst. And you can sort of exchange a wood catalyst between different wood types. So if we have a look here, you'll see that it turns into a spruce catalyst, uh, a bit of birch one. And it'll cycle through all the different wood types that uh, in vanilla and the one that I add. Uh, so wood catalyst is pretty easy to make. The book, however, the green one's cheaper than the master one, so you ought to be making this one really. Uh, it's made with a book and these three dusts. So you guys might be thinking, well, a book requires paper, and paper requires a crafting table to make. Uh, luckily, because of the way I've handled this, in hard mode, it doesn't require a crafting table. It makes this a shapeless recipe, which allows you to make your book, basically, without a crafting table. So you get a book, you get these dusts, and these dusts are, well, they're a little bit easy to make, but they can be expensive just because of the uh, infrastructure you have to set up first. So if we have a look at the cave guide here, to get them, you have to look at the cave basin section and the essence of evaporator section. So cave basins are the replacements for the cave cauldrons from previous versions, but they work pretty much exactly the same. Uh, so it has the recipes here, so water and seeds for the green dust, and lava and glowstone for the blue dust, and end water, which is now called ender infused water, but I couldn't fit that in, so I put end water, and a blaze rod to get the purple dust. And then once you've made the recipe, you just collect it with a glass bottle. So let me just grab some basins, just to show you, K basin, I'll actually grab three of these just to show you how these work. So you pop one down, and this has got a nice block model, which I made. Um, and obviously to upgrade it into its higher tier, you grab netherrack, uh, which means you have to go to the nether to get that. And I'll talk about how you're going to get hold of that stuff. It's all to do with these things over here. And endstone, which has a crafting recipe with three ender pearls and a cobblestone to make an endstone. So you don't have to go to the end. You can, but you don't really need to. And I recommend you don't to get that, um, but you can. And then simply to get the nether tier and the sky tier of the basins, as before, you place them on top of these, the netherrack and the endstone, and they will upgrade into these tiers, uh, which if I switch into survival mode, can actually be picked up in that form and will can be moved around. They don't have to be placed on these after they've been upgraded. So that's that. And right, so let's switch back to creative mode now just to show you how these work. So you can use either a bucket of water or a water bottle or any potion actually, the first one. I'll use a water bottle. Yeah, and then you 
put it in by right clicking and it eats the bottle of water and gives you a glass bottle filling this with water you can put any type of seed in so seeds generic seeds pumpkin watermelon beetroot seeds that will work uh, you put those in and it gives you the green potion which you then take out with a glass bottle Super. and then you need your essence evaporator as before it looks a bit different there simply right click with your bottle of cave essence on the essence evaporator produces four or eight dust and gives you a bottle back so the middle tier obviously requires lava and glowstone and the final tier requires ender infused water and blaze rod the ender infused water should be there there it is good so we'll just do this these have to be made in their own specific cauldron so if i try and put lava in here it'll just drop it on the floor and it will make a mess um so put lava in there glowstone put these out of the bottles and then evaporate them as such and then let's just make the crafting table because now we can make the book using these dusts um so there you go that's how you make the book so these things pretty can be a little bit expensive so for example the cave basin requires two redstone a slime ball which there is a crafting receipt for spider eye rotten flesh string and clay makes two of them which is nice and it also requires a cauldron and a cauldron obviously you can make it like that but not Minecraft style or you can use two iron ingots and two buckets like that uh, which allows you to make it in a without a crafting table basically and the buckets would normally need a crafting table but luckily I've got a fix for that as well which is two iron ingots two metallic blend iron and metallic blend iron can be made with iron ore flint TNT and a torch like so uh, if you have the realistic torches mod installed however you need to make a matchbox to make torches in that and that requires a crafting table so if that's installed the game will add a new recipe which replaces that torch with a piece of coal a bit more expensive but if you want the realistic torches mod installed and still be able to play on hard mode and get your crafting table you're going to want to note that basically so it'd be more expensive but that's how it is um yes and then obviously you just make your bucket as such and then you can use it in the cauldron recipe to make your basin and i recommend making three of them because it's more useful later on basically and then the essence evaporator is pretty similar it's just an iron ingot slime ball redstone and a cauldron um so yeah so you guys are probably wondering yeah i can see that this is great we can make a crafting table to some degree so long as we have these materials but you're probably thinking well i can't really get iron or redstone and i can't for, 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 in fact without a crafting table i can't even get stone really well luckily we have a fix for that so over here we have these things called pickaxe heads and uh, well they're tool heads for everything but essentially these things so for the wooden pickaxe head for example you can make it in a little crafting table without a crafting table sorry in your little little corner thing two planks a stick and a string and that makes your wooden pickaxe head which you simply put with a stick to make your wooden pickaxe you do that with stone as well uh, however when you get to the iron gold and diamond tier things start to get very different the string is replaced with the slime ball that's the difference basically um, yeah that's basically the main difference there uh, you may also notice there's a thing called an iron stick uh, which is just two iron makes four iron sticks it's the same with the stone one here actually and the gold they all have their own sticks basically for each of the different materials added by tsun craft of which there are a small variety but so you can make tools using this uh, it's pretty simple you can make all sorts of tools as you know all of them basically um, and of any of the materials that I've added which include copper tin silver lead aluminium uh, these two you can't make it out of steel, electrum, or bronze. Um, so, yeah, to make the more advanced things like electrum and bronze, you're gonna want to. You can make these uh, metallic blends for early game before you get your alloy furnace later on. You can make it by putting a gold blend with a silver blend to make electrum. 
make two of them, and for bronze you take a tin and three copper to make four bronze. Um, and these blends can be crafted quite simply, actually. So, for example, if I look at so iron blend, of course, is there. Gold is a bit more expensive because it requires a redstone torch. So the idea is you get gold after you get iron, which you have to anyway. Um, but it sort of fits in because you need to get redstone by the time you can process gold. Uh, copper is the same as iron, actually. You just use a regular torch, uh, which will be replaced with coal if necessary. Uh, tin is the same. Uh, as is aluminium, actually, they use all the same recipe, just with the different ore type. Uh, silver and lead, however, use the redstone torch recipe. Because they're a bit harder materials to get and a bit stronger to some degree. Uh, but of course, once you've made your, if you make some tin dust and some copper dust, you can make bronze, uh, which you can just smelt into uh, your ingots. So, again, you may be wondering. Without a crafting table, I can't make a furnace to smelt things. Um, and we have a fix for that as well. So, grab some lava. Well, I'll find it in the world, though. Really. And all you got to do is grab your metallic band. I'll just pick iron for now. You can do it with all of them, actually. Uh, pretty much. I'll try with some bronze as well. All you're going to do is right click on the block directly underneath the lava source. And it will smelt the ingot. Well, I'll smelt the uh, blend into the ingot. We're going to soil mode, it'll actually be so. Uh, there we go. So. It will work with iron as well. See how smelting this stuff up. Which is good. So that's how you smelt things early game. Uh, but it only works with your metallic blend. And also a thing called glass composite. It's made with two sand and two clay. And surprise, surprise, it makes glass. Uh, but this stuff is actually all detailed in here. Because it tells you exactly how to do it with metallic blends. And also does it for your glass composite here. Um, you can pause the video if you want to read those in more detail, or download the mod and read it from there, I guess. Um, so that's how that works. You can smell things up and all of that. I'm trying to remember what the next thing I should go over is. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, string. Yes. These tools require string. Not that one, but these ones, the stone and the wood ones. And string isn't always easiest thing to come by, because otherwise you'll just need to fight spiders, which means you'd have to wait for your first night before you could start, which isn't the best way of doing things. So we do actually have a recipe for string now, and it requires leaves. Four leaves makes one string. And you're again probably thinking, how many leaves? Uh, and here we are, we have wooden shears being added by Tizan Craft, of course. Three sticks makes one wooden shears. Uh, just to give you an idea of how good these are. I mean, they are, they are fantastic, of course. What are you going to do? Oh dear, already broken. I only got two leaves out of it. So you actually need two shears before you can make your first piece of string. Which isn't great, but that's how it is. And yeah, it makes it, it slows down early game quite a lot, this playing in hard mode. Um, so yeah, you can get string that way. And yes, so we then have storage. We need to be able to store things, and we have these cave chests to solve the problem. So there's the tier one green cave chest, which requires two wood catalysts, which you know to make. It's just four logs each, and a piece, of some seeds, makes four of them. So I brought down a cave chest, green type, and then open it. You'll see that it only has one row of storage, which isn't a lot to be honest. Um, but you will be making quite a few of these. Obviously they come in sets of four, but to make the next tier up, you need to already have your nether, your nether basin. Sorry, I'm still used to calling them cauldrons from the old version. But you would already need to have your nether basin in order to make the tier two version, which is slightly bigger. It's got two slots, or two rows, sorry. Which can be useful, but to be honest, I usually just wait until I've got all the resources to make everything at the end um, and just make them both at once. And obviously the purple one here has four rows, which is nice because it's the same size as your inventory. Uh, but it's also just a big chest. So, yeah, that's how that is. Uh, and the other thing we want to talk about probably for early game survival is armor. Armor is not the easiest thing to come by when you have a crafting table. So, 
you're going to want to make this armor here, the, the wooden armor, uh, which you craft helmet like so, uh, the chest piece like so, trousers like so, and the boots like so. And you can actually convert them the same way we did the wood catalyst. You can convert them between the different types of wood, so oak to spruce, to birch, to jungle, to acacia, to dark oak, in that sort of order. Which is, yeah, that's basically the way of uh, getting yourself protection of the game. Uh, because you will be going to the nether at some point, which is going to be interesting. It's always interesting going to the nether. When you don't have a crafting table, but uh, to give you guys an idea of sort of how long this has taken people, I have heard reports of it taking upwards of nine hours to complete hard mode of Tucson Craft, just to give you a small idea as to how things work. And I almost forgot, I'm surprised I did forget because they're everywhere, are these things wild carrots and wild potatoes. These things spawn around the world. And when you break them in survival mode, it will drop three of whatever they are. And obviously, you can then farm these, which is good. Uh, or you can just eat them as they are, because you won't be able to smelt any food or uh, turn any wheat into bread this early in the game. So, you're going to want to harvest these patches as much as possible. But of course, you can get a hoe and you can make a farm before you have your crafting table, which is okay, I guess. And uh, yes, I should probably show you what the ores look like. So, so I haven't done that yet. So the ores spawn in deposits and you can actually um, change the spawning sort of the amount of spawning where they, where they appear and how big the veins are and how many veins there are per chunk, that sort of thing. I've got all that set up in the configs. But as you can see, there's I'm just currently on the default, and there's quite a bit of copper and tin on the surface here. We are on an extreme hills biome, so it's going to be quite high up. And, um, yeah, there's going to be just copper and tin up here, and coal, I guess. But the ores look like this. this is copper, this is tin, this is lead, this is silver, aluminium, and magmite. And magmite is important for later on in the game. As is this version of it called Cave Magmite, which is a little bit rarer because it only appears in one specific biome. Um, but these other ones are just sort of standard ores. So these two and the aluminium can be broken with a stone pickaxe, and then these two require an iron pickaxe to break. Magmite requires a diamond pickaxe, and Cave Magmite also requires a diamond pickaxe. So that's how the ores work these are craft currently and will probably remain as such for a while and of course we have uh, blocks for each type of ingot including the alloys but uh, of electrum steel uh, bronze and so on Let's just put these out so you can see them number of blocks so I can't really do a lot with that. Um, yeah. So that is the uh, the ingots and all of that stuff. So we also have another thing in it. We have cosmetic blocks, such as these different colored stones, which can all be turned into brick variants of themselves, small brick variants and small brick variants without grout, uh, as you can see there. And also stairs. You can also make stone stairs look like this, which look pretty cool, because uh, these things don't exist in Minecraft, so yeah, quite nice to have something like that. I haven't added slabs yet, but I intend to in the future. I haven't got around to it yet, because slabs are, take a while compared to other things. Um, so we move on to the most important, well, not the most important, but a important part of the mod. So, We've now left the beginning stage, either very quickly because you haven't got hard mode on, or after a long time because you've had hard mode on. 